Look at that. Got to be a $400 suit, $60 tie, $70 shirt, and look at that little ratty-looking little white collar he gives her to wear. He'd probably, he'd probably kill that damn chipmunk himself and die the damn thing. You've got a fine young couple with you who I'm, whom I wanted to say hello to, and I didn't mean to be rude or anything. Uh, you want to tell me there, what's the, his first name? Tom. Tommy, good to see you. Are you a newlywed too, Tom? About 10 months. Glad you didn't settle on a month before that. <laughs> Tom, nice to have you here. What's your wife's name, Tom? Marilyn, how you like married life after 10 months? You like it? Have you noticed any change in Tom since you married him 10 months ago? Not yet. In other words, you're expecting some kind of a change. <laughs> what did you mean by not yet, Marilyn? Did you have a nice honeymoon, Marilyn? Good. Stand up and tell us about it. <laughs> You're not going to walk out here and say, by God, he really hurt me. That offended me. It's ridiculous. Uncle Bob, how you doing down there? What business are you in, Robert? Retired. Well, what kind of work are you out of? Air Force. Were you in the Air Force, Bob? Don't be ashamed of it. Ours? Uh, <laughs> hey, we get them coming off the beach in boats, Robert. We don't know who the hell anybody belongs to anymore. Why, certainly they knew. Life is too short. You have never seen a Brinks truck follow a hearse. Things we learn as youngsters. Right, doctor? I'll tell you the truth. I just got my father out of the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. He's 73 years old. He's a tough old duck, and I don't know how much borrowed time he's living on. And he'd brain me if he knew I was telling you this, but I tell you this by way of letting you know that his father, my grandfather Robert, at the age of 96, two weeks ago, got remarried in Buenos Aires, South America. Had to. <laughs> he got some 81-year-old kid in trouble down there. 